Rosie. It presents like this. It is composed of five parts. The first is the camera. The second is the body that is motorized for depacements. The third is the optical shooting. Here you can see the detail in lighting, LED, two optical fibers and two flash. The fourth part is the micro motor on which my samples are fixed. It allows them to rotate. Finally the fifth part is the console that lets to control the macro zoom. We will now see the computer. Two programs are required to take the pictures. Camera Control Pro 2 and Capture NX2. These two Nikon software company are available in English. The options are the same places on the software in English. I open camera control. It will allow me to configure my camera and drive directly from the computer. The software opens and informs me that no device is detected. I turn on the Nikon D300. A window opens. As I have no optics on the device a number of settings are not accessible. Look at this window in detail. On the first tab we have the shooting mode that is set to manual. The shutter speed is set to one of 250 seconds. This is the fastest speed of syncing the flash on this camera. Setting of the aperture is not available. Exposure correction is available as well flash compensation. These last two function will be adjusted depending on the lighting you will use. Finally, the lag program is not available. On the tab number 2. The flash sync mode is set to second curtain. ISO sensitivity is set to 200. White balance is set to the flash. Now look at the third tab. Here we find the image quality. I use the NEF format. This format allows a non-destructive image processing. JPG compression does not interest us. NEF compression is set to lossless compression. The sampling is set to 12 bits. In the fourth tab, there is no option available. In the fifth tab I left the default options. We will now make our first picture of a sample. I put a sample under the macro zoom, turned on the lights and the flashes. I open camera control. I open the window of live view. My camera appears with my sample of wood. It is not well placed, so I will place it in the middle of the window. Now I will start to adjust the sharpness. To refine the sharpness, I must increase the zoom to its maximum position.
Now we have a better sharpness. I shall now rotate my sample so that the cells are well aligned in the window of the camera. By clicking here, I have the possibility to enlarge the image displayed in the window. By doing this action, I see that the focus is not perfect. So I will finally adjust the focus. Like this, I think it's good. I click here to shoot. The picture is taken. The software view NX opens and my picture is displayed. By double clicking on the thumbnail of the image, I can see the picture in full screen and judge the quality of the shot. Now I select the window of the camera to take a new picture with a lower magnification. I'm going to zoom out to position myself at a magnification of 10 times. I position my sample right in the middle of the window. The focus has been kept by the macro zoom. It is not necessary to readjust it. Now I take the second picture. Once the picture is taken, I disable the live view to protect the sensor of my camera and avoid it heat. My second photo has appeared in view NX. I'm going to improve these two pictures in Capture NX2. For this I select them. Then by right click I choose Open in Capture NX2. Both photos are now in Capture NX. This software will allow me to process these pictures as if we were developing a picture. The first action I will do is to remove from the histogram areas without information. Like this. Then I go to the menu bar, on settings, then focus, then blurred mask. In the window, blurred mask in the bottom right I set the intensity to 80%. And the radius 30, 35%. You can see the good improvement of the sharpness of the picture. Now I can save and close my picture. For the second photo, I will use the same process. After having adjusted the histogram, then the blurred mask, my picture is now finished and I can save and close. I reduce the window of capture NX to return to view NX and view my two pictures that are finished. By double clicking each one I can watch them full screen and appreciate their quality. To allow you to assimilate the different steps of shooting, we shoot a new sample. 
So I put a new sample under the micros. I'm saying my sample in this window. I will center and then align it in the window. Then I will zoom a maximum to adjust the focus. Then I will grow, but at this point it is difficult to make a proper focus, so I move the sample to find a better place, such as here. As this magnification depth of field is only 48 microns, which corresponds to a range of two tenths of millimeter above and under the best focus, it is very return to normal magnification of the camera, and I choose the location of the picture I want to take. Now I take the photo. My picture is displayed in view NX. By a double click I can see it in full screen find that its quality is acceptable. Now I select the window of camera control to take my second shot. I set the magnification zoom on 10 times which corresponds to a very good magnifying glass. I take a new photo. Then I close the live view. The new picture is now in view NX. I double click to view full screen. My two pictures are now in Capture MX. Histogram for this photo is quite correct. I just have to adjust the unsharp mask. So I will call the window unsharp mask. In the window unsharp mask. I will apply the settings that I gave you in the first demonstration which is 80% for intensity and 35% for the radius. Now I save and close the photo. For the second photo, I will proceed the same way with the same parameters. Then I will save and close the picture and I will return to view MX.
I can now control the quality of my two photos. In conclusion, I hope this third video this has given you the desire to discover the wonderful world of the wood structure.